Neural Circuit Tracer is software for automated and manual reconstruction of neurites from light microscopy stacks of images. This video is an introduction to the basic functionality of the software. The file tab allows you to load an image stack. Neural Circuit Tracer supports many different image types. Loading options include operations to limit the number of images loaded from the stack and criteria-based reduction of the image resolution. Once loaded, the image window allows you to scroll through the stack and zoom in and out of areas of interest within the stack. Additional ways of viewing the stack can be found under the View tab. Here you can open a 3D view of the stack as well as a Z projection of the stack. The Pre-Processing tab allows you to perform many different types of image processing operations on the loaded stack along with image J filters and plugins. Neural Circuit Tracer includes custom image processing algorithms written as MATLAB plugins. You can also integrate your own plugins to work with the software. Links for details about the pre-processing operations and writing your own MATLAB plugins to add to Neural Circuit Tracer can be found in the video description. Native pre-processing steps along with automated tracing capabilities can be bundled together and saved as a macro. Let me use a macro I had created earlier to perform a multi-scale Gaussian blur followed by an intensity threshold operation on the stack. I can now go to the view tab and toggle between the pre-processed and original views to compare the effect of the pre-processing algorithms on the stack. Neural Circuit Tracer provides you with a convenient way to manually trace the structures on the image stack. Let me demonstrate this functionality by zooming into a small part of the stack and placing vertices as I navigate through the stack. I can work on disconnected parts and connect them later, as well as edit existing vertices in the trace. I can delete connections or entire trees. And undo and redo tracing steps. Individual trees or the entire trace can be stored in the .swc file format for later use. One can also save the image stack along with the trace in the same file in the form of a .mat library. Let me load a trace I had saved along with an image stack as a .mat file earlier. This is nearly a complete trace as you can see on the Z projection, where I can toggle the trace on and off. The optimized trace operation allows one to fine tune the trace based on various parameters that control the point density, curvature, position of terminal and branch points, etc. I'll choose the default parameters here just to demonstrate what this operation does. Let me delete this trace and generate one automatically using the Get Initial Trace button under the Automated Tracing tab. This operation requires that the image has been pre-processed appropriately, which it has already been in this case. A trace obtained manually or in an automated manner can be used to train Neural Circuit Tracer's learning algorithm. Information about training Neural Circuit Tracer and saving the training data using the online training option 
will be the subject of another video. Assuming for now that training data has been saved in an earlier session, the parameter file and the training history options let you load the data which will be used in the calculate costs and automated merger steps by the algorithm to obtain the final automated trace. The final trace can then be saved with the image stack as a .mat library or as a standalone trace in the .swc format from the file tab. That is all for now. Thank you for watching.